All right. So let's go through the first problem. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, remember, when we're solving inequalities, we want to make sure that we treat it just like an equation. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite my inequality as an equals. And I'll write the inequality sign up top. All right? So then that's just going to remind me, use the properties of solving an equation to solve this problem. So the first thing I look at, guys, and remember, when we, want to, uh, when we have an equation like this, we want to follow the rules of PEMDAS. So remember, the rules of PEMDAS say, do what's inside parentheses first. So I see parentheses. Can I do anything inside the parentheses? Well, inside this parentheses says x plus 1. I cannot combine x plus 1. So therefore, there's nothing I can do inside parentheses. The next one, exponents. Do I see any exponents here? No. So there, I can't do anything with exponents. The next one is multiplication. So I look, is there multiplication going on? Or multiplication division? Is there any multiplication going on? You could say yes. I have a negative 7, right? Because there's a subtraction sign in front of the 7. There's a negative 7 multiplying by the x plus 1. So that's the operation I need to perform next. Now remember, when you have a, a number outside parentheses, we need to use the distributor property. Meaning that negative 7 needs to multiply by the x and by the 1. So therefore I have 5x minus 7x minus 7 equals a negative 9. Okay? Now, the next thing we need to do, like any other problem, is we need to see how can I simplify this? Well, how can I combine like terms? Well, you guys notice these two terms are like, are like terms, right? They both have an x. So I have 5x minus 7x. So 5x minus 7x is a negative 2x. Minus 7 equals negative 9. Now it's like your last worksheet, which was on two-stepping equations, right? So now just undo what's happening to your variable. So I add, I undo subtraction by adding a 7. Negative 2x equals negative 2, then divide by negative 2. That looks really weird. Right? So then for x is equal to a positive 1. So then I need to plug back in my sign. However, Kyra, what I noticed was that I divided by a negative 2, right? So you do remember what happens when you divide by a negative number? You do what? You flip the sign, right? Good. You guys are remembering some things. So therefore, now it's x is less than 1. So when I go and do my number line, I go to 0. Uh, let's just go to 1. That's 0. That's negative 1. That would be 3. So remember, you go and make a circle at 1. Now, you guys could do your test points if you want to. right? I already showed you how to do those. Um, however, it's just easier if you guys start noticing. When it's less than, is that open or, or closed? Open, right? It's only closed when it's less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. So this is just less than, so it's going to be open. Then it says x is less than 1. So which numbers on this number line are less than 1? These numbers, right? So there you go. Any questions? Yeah.